what's up everyone checking this video out this is my money in the bank predictions money in the bank is this Sunday five nights away on WWE Network and on pay-per-view and if you're watching it on pay-per-view you are a fucking idiot because the network is only nine ninety nine and Money in the Bank is uh, definitely worth watching. If you're to just pay nine ninety nine, it's well worth it. Okay, I'll, I'm gonna get to my predictions now. Kickoff panel is Renee, Renee Young, Booker T. Corey Graves and Byron Saxton. That's the kickoff panel for the kickoff show. Uh, Renee is great at her job. She does a great job every time she's hosting a kickoff show to a pay-per-view. And she's a great interviewer. And Renee looks great, as everybody can tell. She's a gorgeous woman. Okay. Uh, anyways, I'm in my basement doing this video because it's very hot upstairs and I did not feel like putting a fan on to have the fan noise blowing and fucking up this video and I did not feel like putting on the air conditioner to fuck up the video either. So, it's cool, cool down here, it's like feels like 90 degrees outside it's about 85 that's why I'm in the basement it's really Ill irrelevant why I'm down here it doesn't matter it doesn't matter where I do my videos I just enjoy doing them wherever it is but that it is a plus that it's cool nice and cool down here kickoff match is uh our truth and uh, King Barrett, our truth versus King Barrett. I'm very glad this match is not on pay per view because it does not deserve to be on the Money in the Bank show. It only deserves to be on the kickoff show. King Barrett versus our truth. I do not care who wins this, but I predict King Barrett, Bad News Barrett, will win it. Uh, pay-per-view matches to kick off money in the bank I don't know if it's gonna be the first match I'm just reading down in order what I put down I don't know if it's gonna be the first match or not but it's my order that I wrote down tag team titles will be on the line new day is defending uh, it's gonna be Big E and uh, Xavier Woods defending for the New Day because Kofi is in the Money in the Bank ladder match. So the New Day is defending against the Prime Time Players, PTP. Uh, I'm very glad, very happy that Prime Time Players are finally getting a title shot in a one-on-one, -on -one, not one-on-one, -on -one, but I'm glad there's no other teams involved and it's just primetime players versus the New Day going for the tag team titles. I predict that the New Day will retain, but I would not be shocked or surprised at all if the primetime players win the tag team titles. I'm a big fan of the primetime players. They're a great team, and I'm glad WWE is finally pushing them and putting them on pay-per-views and giving them a chance. Tyson, not Tyson, Titus. Tyson is injured. Uh, get well soon, Tyson. He's got a spinal cord injury, and that really sucks. Pretty sure the team of Tyson and Cesaro, whenever Tyson can come back to action in the ring, I don't think they're going to have Cesaro and Tyson be tag team partners anymore. So their team might be over. That sucks. But 
Uh, get well soon, Tyson. Shout out to Tyson Kid. Get well soon. So the new day, I believe, will retain. But I would not be shocked if the primetime players win the tag titles. It would be long overdue for the primetime players. They should have been tag champs one or two years ago. So I would like to see primetime players win. I would be very happy if they did win the tag titles. But I do not think they're going to. So New Day retains. And primetime players will probably win the tag titles at the next pay-per-view in July or at SummerSlam. So New Day retains. Up next, Kevin Owens versus John Cena. The rematch. First match, everybody knows, was at Elimination Chamber. Kevin Owens won clean, clean pinfall victory for Kevin Owens. That was pretty damn shocking. And it was uh, the right decision, that's for sure, to have Kevin Owens beat Cena. This pay-per-view, Money in the Bank, I don't see Kevin Owens beating Cena clean again. He already beat him clean. I believe Cena will win by disqualification. Kevin Owens will do something in this match. He's a badass. He's going to do something to get himself disqualified. I don't see Cena beating him. One, two, three. He may. And if Cena does pin Owens clean, one, two, three, I believe that was a Vince McMahon decision to have Cena go over Owens and pin him clean in the ring. I don't think it should happen. You need to keep Kevin Owens looking strong against the top face in the company, John Cena. So Cena, I predict, will win by disqualification, hopefully. Up next is the Money in the Bank ladder match. You got Kane, which this Kane, he should not be called. He should not be called Kane. He wears dress pants and he's a joke. He's Glenn. So Glenn, A.K.A. Kane, versus Dolph Ziggler's in this match. Kofi Kingston, Roman Reigns, Neville, uh, Sheamus, and Randy Orton are all in the match. Uh, what I think about Sheamus winning Money in the Bank, that's what I think of it. I'm not a Sheamus fan. I don't like the man at all. The, he's a jerk off, and he's a real jerk off on Twitter. He'll block anybody if you just say you don't like the guy and you think he sucks. And if you're just joking around, Sheamus will block you in a second. So don't joke around with him on Twitter because he's a big pussy that can't take any shit talking or any kind of joking. He can't take it. Just like Bad News Barrett is a pussy and he can't take any shit talking and joking around at all. Uh, doesn't really matter. Has nothing to do with my predictions, but Seamus and Barrett both blocked me on Twitter because I was joking and just having fun in tweets, having fun, and they couldn't take it because they're a bunch of pussies. Also, that uh, CM Punk also blocks me. I don't remember what I said to the man. I'm sure I joked around. I might have been a little bit rude, but... He blocked me probably two years ago, maybe a year ago. I don't remember when. I don't remember what I said. I have a hundred, over 150,000 tweets. I don't remember what I said a month ago in tweets. So how am I going to remember what I said to get CM Punk to block me? I don't know what I said. I don't care what I said. I don't care if I offended CM Punk. Uh, I don't care. I don't hate CM Punk. But I'm not a fan of his anymore. Okay. Money in the Bank ladder match. I'll get back to that and I'll quit ranting and going off. I believe that Brock Lesnar will return. And he'll come in the Money in the Bank ladder match. 
I'm not positive this is going to happen. Just a prediction. Uh, Brock Lesnar, I believe, returns in the Money in the Bank ladder match. Beats the hell out of everybody that is left standing. And uh, F5s, one or two people. I could see Brock definitely climbing up the ladder, getting the briefcase, and taking the Money in the Bank briefcase. I don't know if he'll be declared the official winner the next night on Raw, if he does that. But I could see Brock Lesnar definitely returning and taking the Money in the Bank briefcase for himself, basically, so he can get his title back from Seth Rollins. And he'll be Mr. Money in the Bank will be Brock Lesnar. If, <clears throat> if this does not happen, if Brock does not return and take the Money in the Bank briefcase, then I predict Roman Reigns will win the Money in the Bank. That's pretty simple. That's pretty easy to come up with. You have to be a real idiot to not know pretty much that Roman Reigns is probably for sure, definitely, I'm 90% pro I'm sure Roman Reigns is going to win the Money in the Bank match and take and be Mr. Money in the Bank. Roman Reigns will have the briefcase if Brock does not return and take it for himself and leave with it. And a uh, long shot, if Roman doesn't win a long shot, I could see Neville winning Mr. Money in the Bank. I could see Neville winning it, but I don't think that's going to happen. I think they would definitely have Roman Reigns go over and win the briefcase way before Neville. But Neville, he's a long shot pick of mine. I would like to see Neville win it. Uh, Roman's going to probably win it, and I don't really care. I don't have an opinion. I'm not going to be angry. If Roman wins it, and I'm not going to be happy, I just don't really care if he wins it. And Doff, Kane, both have already won it. I don't see them putting, letting uh, Kane win the Money in the Bank briefcase unless he's going to basically challenge the champion at the next pay-per-view. That's the only way I see the WWE letting Kane win is if he's going to turn face, go back to the old Kane with the old Kane mask on to challenge Rollins at the next pay-per-view. That's the only way Kane will win Money in the Bank is if they want him to challenge Rollins for the title at the next pay-per-view. So I predict either Brock, my first prediction, Brock returns in the match, takes the Money in the Bank, leaves the pay-per-view with it and Paul Heyman will probably be by his side if he returns and uh, Roman Reigns if Brock doesn't return my other prediction pretty certain this is going to happen Roman Reigns will win and become Mr. Money in the Bank for 2015 up next Divas Championship Nikki Bella versus Paige again for what feels like the 20th time uh, Nikki defended against Paige on Raw last Monday. That was stupid. They did twin, they brought back twin magic, which was awful and not creative at all. So, Nikki versus Paige. Paige is going to be a judge on Tough Enough. I believe Tough Enough starts next week, next Tuesday, I think. So Paige is a judge. I could see Paige having the Divas title by her side on Tough Enough as a judge because she's a judge. I could see WWE giving the Divas title back to Paige, but I don't think it's going to happen, folks. So I predict Nikki... Bella is going to retain again. She retained at Elimination Chamber two weeks ago. And I believe Nikki Bella is going to retain again. So Nikki Bella 
will walk out money in the bank, still your Divas champion. Um, and she's had it. Nikki Bella has had the title almost 200 days. I don't think they're going to give up on her now and let her lose it now. But I could see her losing it to Paige because, only because Paige is a judge on the new Tough Enough. And they would like the belt by Paige's side on Tough Enough. But I believe Nikki retains. I'm 90% sure Nikki Bell is going to retain. And I'm 100% sure that WWE is going to have Nikki Bella beat Paige. Not Paige's. WWE is going to have Nikki Bella beat AJ Lee's record reign as Divas champion. I think it was 295 days. Nikki's been champ almost 200 days. So uh, three more months, 90 more days, 95 more days, or over 95 more days. Nikki Bella, I'm pretty sure, is going to hold the Divas championship. And hopefully after Nikki beats AJ Lee's reign, as the longest reigning Divas champion, hopefully the WWE has some new Divas blood on the main roster and come to Raw and SmackDown and be caught up. Hopefully Charlotte or Sasha Banks or Bailey, hell, even Becky Lynch could do it. She's that gr she's that good. So hopefully Charlotte or Sasha come to Raw after Nikki beats AJ's record. I could see Nikki Bella cut a heel promo and saying she's the greatest Divas champion of all time. She's the longest reigning Divas champion of all time. I could see her cut that promo, get a lot of heat on Raw, basically saying that, or before SummerSlam or after SummerSlam. I could see Nikki cutting a heel promo and then having Charlotte or Sasha Banks come out, interrupt her, challenge her to a Divas title match, and take the Divas championship. Charlotte or Sasha Banks would be great Divas champion. They, either one of them would be a great Divas champion. They're both super, super good in the ring. They both can talk. They both have the look. Even Bailey or uh, Becky Lynch, I would be for coming to the main roster and defeating Nikki Bella because the Divas division needs some new blood. They need Charlotte. They need Sasha Banks, the boss. They need a flair and they need a boss on the main roster. And they need it soon. Because Paige versus Nikki is getting very old and very boring and very lame and very stupid. And uh, nobody cares about the Divas division. It's not Paige's fault. It's not even really Nikki's fault. That the company wants her to be the longest reigning Divas champion. It's WWE's fault for letting the Divas division die a slow death. If this summer, if they don't have Charlotte or Sasha or Becky or Bailey, if they don't have either one of those women come to the main roster, the Divas division is dead. It's just, it's just dead in my opinion if you don't have an NXT Diva come to the main roster and make an impact. So, Nikki retains. Uh, IC title, I think the IC title's on the line, I'm not sure. Big Show versus Ryback, I could care less about this match. I do not care about this match. When it's on, I won't even watch it. I'll be staring at my phone, or I'll be staring at Twitter, or just talking on Twitter during Ryback versus Big Show. I could care less who wins, but I predict Ryback will retain 
the IC title, if it is an IC title match. I don't know if it is, and I don't care if it is. Ryback will probably win. So Ryback is my prediction. Main event. I'm a bit out of breath here. Sorry about that. I'm uh, I'm on heart medication, and I didn't take it yet. But I, I'm going to take it after this video. So I get out of breath pretty quick when I talk a lot, only because I'm on heart, medi heart medication and high blood pressure medication. Main event, ladder match for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. It's the main event. Hopefully it closes the show in the Money in the Bank match does not. Seth Rollins is defending the WWE World Heavyweight Championship, which he still does not have right now. Dean Ambrose has it. So Dean Ambrose has been walking around with the title since Elimination Chamber, basically. So it's a ladder match. It's the second ladder match of the Money in the Bank pay-per-view I don't like seeing two ladder matches on one show. That's a bit overkill. That's a bit much, but uh, they're doing it anyway. Rollins, Ambrose, they always have great matches. They always deliver their main event players, their A-plus players in the WWE right now. And uh, you put them in a ladder match, it's going to be great. They were, in a hell in, they were in a Hell in a Cell match last October at the Hell in a Cell pay-per-view. That was pretty good. You put them in a ladder match, they're definitely going to bring it. And they're going to both show us that they're top main event stars. I look for an exciting ladder match for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. I think it will be very good. There may be interference. Maybe from J&J &J Security. They defeated Rollins on Raw last night. So I could see J&J &J Security coming down to the ring. Maybe screwing Rollins or maybe helping him. I could see Kane also coming down during the World Heavyweight Championship match. And I could see Kane also interfering somehow. Maybe turning on Rollins or maybe turning on Ambrose. Another thing that could happen. If Roman Reigns is the Money in the Bank winner and uh, either and Rollins retains, which I believe Seth Rollins will win and retain finally without any help from the authority. So I believe Rollins will retain on his own this time. And uh, after he retains, I'm sure he'll be beat up and he'll look tired and he'll look exhausted. And possibly you could have Roman Reigns music hit and him run down to the ring and cash in his briefcase. If the WWE does have Rollins cash in his briefcase and win the championship, I don't, I don't think that's the right decision. It's too soon to end Rollins' reign as champion. It's too damn soon. But <clears throat> if, if they do have Rollins, not Rollins, if they have Reigns come down, cash in, win the title, it's going to be basically to surprise everybody and for a shock for shock value and for like a they WWE will only have Reigns cash in and win if they want to shock and surprise all the fans which I don't believe they will do that or if he does try to cash in I could see Rollins getting away and running away running out of the arena with his title so Reigns I could see trying to cash in but I don't think he'll win the title. I believe Seth Rollins will retain in the ladder match. He has to, basically, because he has to win a match and defend his title and retain his title alone without help. He has to win. He has to do it. I believe he will do it. 
Seth Rollins will retain and look possibly for uh, Roman Reigns to come out and try to cash in. Uh, I don't think he'll cash in and win the title. Even possibly look for Brock Lesnar. He may have the briefcase, folks. He may have that briefcase. Look for him to come out. His music hit. Come out. Rollins could be dead tired. And uh, Brock Lesnar could just pick his ass up, F5 him, 1, 2, 3, win the title, leave money in the bank, WWE World Heavyweight Champion. I believe Lesnar could do that. It's a very good possibility. And if uh, Lesnar doesn't leave money in the bank with the briefcase or the title, uh, I, I believe Lesnar will come back and he will run and chase Rollins for the title to get a rematch. And it will be Rollins versus Lesnar at SummerSlam. I'm pretty sure that match is going to happen for the title. And Rollins will probably still have the title at SummerSlam. But that's what could happen. I see Rollins retaining against Ambrose in the ladder match. And you could have Roman Reigns trying to come down to cash in if he wins it, which I believe he will. Or you could have Brock Lesnar coming down, making a surprise appearance, and uh, F5-ing Seth Rollins with or without the Money in the Bank briefcase. I could see Brock returning at Money in the Bank for sure. That's my predictions. There's, uh, let's see here, one, two, three, four, five, six matches on the Money in the Bank pay-per-view, six. And there's one match on the kickoff show that's not even worth watching. Don't waste your time and watch Truth versus Barrett. I'll, I'll have it on right in front of me. I'm not going to enjoy it. But I'll have it on because I'm going to be tweeting about it. So I basically have to watch every match to tweet about it. Anyways, that's my Money in the Bank predictions. Hope you enjoyed the video. Follow me before my, follow me during Money in the Bank. If you already don't, follow me on Twitter at TNA WWE Guy. That's where I'll be tweeting Money in the Bank from. For the entire four hours from the kickoff show until the end of Money in the Bank. I will be live tweeting Money in the Bank pay-per-view on the WWE Network. Hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, thanks for watching. If you did, bye for now everybody.